So it seems like some of you sickos out there bought a ThinkPad and are using the touchpad over here. What's what's wrong with you? Who hurt you? There's a, a track point right here, the little red dot thing that you ignore. Just waiting to be used. And you're using the touchpad? What's wrong with you? Come on, bro. Come on, look. The little red dot, the nipple, the other thing, the pointing stick. Uh, it used to be a lot more common in computers, but now it's really only Lenovo doing it. And it's probably one of the best reasons to own a ThinkPad, in my opinion. Like, here's my hairy hands. Don't don't hand shame me in the comments over here. Um, also, I was right out of the shower, so I didn't have my ring on. But look, you can use both hands with it. You can. There's a little middle click thing that you can hold down to do like a scroll wheel thing. Um, you can go back and forth. Like I'm I'm at this point like ambidextrous or whatever with um, using the track point. You can use your thumbs, you can use your uh, pointing finger, whatever. Um, you can take out the, little, the track point when it stops working, throw it back in. And I don't know, I, I just don't get why this isn't like a feature more of you are using. Um, also, I'm just gonna put this in and my wife would kill me if I didn't. Look, ring, it, it exists, okay. so. Um, yeah, you should just disable your trackpad, which you can do in the BIOS. Go into your ThinkPad's BIOS and just disable it. It's the best way to get good at using the track point. Completely remove the option for the trackpad. Uh, you can do that in BIOS, um, or if you're a little bit more non-committal, um, you can go to like mouse properties in Windows there's gonna be this ThinkPad tab here and just disable that uh, that the touchpad no one needs that just use the track point um, in Windows there's like a weird limitation where you can either scroll with the middle button or use it as like a middle click to close out of Windows uh, you can only do one or the other in Linux you get both of those um, Windows you can technically use like X mouse button control to like mimic that, but that's, I don't know, it's a pain, I don't use it. Um, another way you can disable the touchpad on certain models is you can just not have it plugged in. Like just don't have the ribbon cable plugged in. Like that's how I learned. Like uh, my um, X220, I'd forgot to throw the touchpad like ribbon cable in all the way and it just didn't work so I was like okay I guess I'm using the track point and that's how I learned how to use a track point and now I can like go days without using a mouse like it's not that a mouse is bad but some days I'm just like yeah screw it I'm just just gonna use this little red thing um, and older ThinkPads like some of them like the X200 like this one didn't even have like a touchpad it's track point only the way it's supposed to be right um, it's so popular that people will buy like dedicated keyboards just to have that track point um, even if they're these crappy little flimsy Lenovo ones uh, there's a few of these too um, you could also go over to Tex and buy their Shinobi for $185 which is you know what, at this point, it's probably cheap for a mechanical keyboard. So, uh, you can buy this if you're really into the, the track point. Uh, go in full track point. Or you can buy their, their Shuda for a little bit more. Actually, a little less. Okay. Yeah, less. Um, if you want, like, a, a tinier one. And people, they live by the track point. Uh, Unicomp, they used to make this nice little... Endure Pro thing with the track point, but that got discontinued because they, I guess, had issues with their supplier. Um, IBM used to have some other ones too that Unicomp made. The Space Saver and the Space Saver 2. 
Now, if you wanted to use these on a modern computer, like these do have like PS2 ports on them, so uh, your mileage might vary, but it looks so cool. Um, there's also this newer Lenovo SK8855 that you can buy. Again, you can buy any of these if you hate money, or you can just buy like a $20 ThinkPad. Either or. You can also head over to Amazon and just get like a USB track point. Just stick it onto something. If you really need that track point. And yeah, I did want to mention if um, that mouse section isn't showing up for you in Windows, the trackpad point part, um, you're going to want to go install Lenovo system update then update your drivers and then immediately uninstall it uh, Linux doesn't have this problem but if you're on Windows then just one of those things you have, have to deal with um, here's this poor Dell also has a pointing stick but it's not very good and Dell has stopped making them so it is what it is uh, another important thing to address um, track point drift Track point drift has happened with every ThinkPad I've ever used in my life. It's really just like, how frequent is track point drift going to happen on your machine? And how long is it going to last for? Like, my T450S, which is what I've recorded every video on this on, I've made every thumbnail with MS Paint and the track point exclusively. Um, that'll drift every so often, but. It's pretty rare and it only lasts for like maybe like half a minute usually less than that um, I've had other models that have lasted like way way longer with the drift and so with newer ones I usually wind up um, going over to Sauto Tech they have like a store on Etsy and I'll buy one of the replacement um, low profile track points and that's kind of helped me out in the past like there's still going to be drift. There's always drift. When it starts drifting, going around the screen like this on its own, you just ignore it. Give it time. Give it some space. Let it cook. Um, or you just take out the little nub and start messing with the uh, part below it. But either or, everyone has their own track point drift strategy. It's going to happen to everyone. Doesn't deter me from using it. I still use it every day. Um, I can use it without thinking, like left hand, right hand, it's full freedom. Uh, now it is more of like, uh, you don't want to use it all day uh, because you're going to get a little bit of strain, but it's more for people who want like a more keyboard driven workflow and only need the mouse sometimes. There's actual people out there that just don't use the mouse, so that's, that's something.